This is the most famous site of Banaras, its ghats, where millions throng through the year to find salvation. But though Banaras is one of the oldest living cities in the world, what we see of it today is of recent origin. In fact, the sanctity of Banaras hides a past where destruction and rejuvenation have gone hand in hand. It was in the 18th century that the tide turned for Banaras and its craftsmen, as the city saw a major reconstruction. In the ghats, you can see the evidence of the many old palaces built during this time. The Darbhanga by the feudal lords of Darbhanga in Bihar, the Sindhya Ghat, the one set up by the Ranas of Nepal and the rebuilding done under Ahilya by Holkar. And the two ladies, very important in history, but not recognized here properly, not given proper honor. So if I have to give lecture abroad, I generally say this Banaras is product of two great ladies. One is Ahilya Bai, another is Rani Bhavani, Midhanapur State. They put all their property to redevelop Banaras, reconstruct Banaras. And they tried their best, we have no sufficient proof to say, but at least based on the scientific observation, we can say that near about 100% they have done the work at the original site. Best known example of Ahilya Bai is that creation of Dasa Sumedha Ghat and Manikarika Ghat which was completely destroyed in a very bad shape. And you see Panch Kroshi Yatra, it is unique in the whole world, three Yatras, such Yatra, based on the ancient system, without any change they are going on. And the credit goes to Rani Bhavani, who established the renovated, complete change, conserved all the five sacred sites, we have inscriptions on it. That the plate is given there. Another layer of multiculturalism was added when the British took over the city in 1775. For a hundred years after that, Banaras became the place where a lot of disinherited and rebellious princes were sent. They included the sons of the Mughal ruler, Shah Alam. With royal princes came courtiers and the presence of so many aristocrats in Banaras ensured that there was a great demand for the city's famed textiles.